cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Cancerian for the late half of July? <laughs> Are you guys in this energy of opening up, being receptive, loving, and working your ass off? <laughs> Hey, boo head, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because me, I'm going to do that, all right? To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. Really dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, so we leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, share, grow, love, reflect. Uh, evolve. How's the vibes only over here? We family, okay? Returning family, I wish popping. Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. You guys, um, this is for my summer rising beings as well as the cross watchers for the sign of cancer. This message is not going to resonate with anybody. That's what your personal read is for. The information uh, for that can be found in the description. Also, I frequently check the community tab after I finish with my, my late ass round of um, late uh, late July generals. I'm going to um, start working on the August, but I'm going to give myself a few days to rest because Spirit has really been showing me that I need to do that more so often, especially when it comes to my throat chakra because I'm so busy, you know, always kind of directing things, telling people stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm thankful for all the personal events. Speaking of which, thank you for all the loves, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. You guys, your energy. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the readings. You guys, thank you so much just for being a part of my family. Thank you for the support. I love you all so very much. I thank you from the most humblest place ever. Um, um, things are changing and you guys it's only up from here you know so i look forward to um meeting new members of my family i'm going to do what um i call it um a, a, a financial a financially um damn it the word fuck mercury damn it i'm, I'm it's gonna come to me a resourceful okay reading price um for everybody, because, you know, I, I love to connect with you all. So, we're going to rock. I look forward to meeting all of my new family. But let's get into it. Talk long enough. Shit. I'm an Aries. Think about 13 different things at one damn time. Extra. Right? Um, so, you guys, this will be from now to the end of July, of the 31st, up until August the 1st. Timeless. I'm going to start saying timeless. Y'all know the damn time frame, because for some of you all, this may be already happening, or it may be to come. Okay? So let's get into it. We're going to start off with your intuitive messages first. Oh, and my Cancidians, for the end of, uh, from now to the end of July, y'all don't laugh my eye. My allergies, my eye looks swollen. I don't know if y'all see the little swollen. It itches like hell. So my eyelash may be throwing up gang signs or see no lean or whatever, but it's that. Don't judge it. Y'all know I'm sensitive, but I could not not get these messages out. So allergies and no allergies, you know. Y'all send me some of that love, because y'all love is contagious, okay? Let's get it. For you guys, I got new opportunities, travel, new love, perception, forgiveness, childhood wounds, synchronicity, awareness, sacred space, confidence, past life, financial abundance, yes, clearing, Fear of time, heightened awareness, sleep, paranormal activity, temper, crown chakra, breaking cycles, diet change, throat chakra, thief, apologies, legacy, surrendering. Okay? So if any of those intuitive messages did apply to you, let's talk about it. Okay? Follow me over here to the overall energy around the reading. You guys, you guys got the jack of spades here, okay? So some of you all could be focused on, some of you guys are, um, could be starting to plan around a new business, okay? Some of you all may also be having to make a decision around which way you want to go with choosing passion and purpose over a damn paycheck, okay? For some of you all, this is about receiving an offer, okay? Or choosing to move slow, um, or making a mutual decision to move slow 
in either offering um your cup of love and some passion. Some of you guys may be I'm gonna go say it, okay? Some of y'all may be horny, but you don't want the relationship issues to go behind it. You like, yeah, I'm really focusing on my abundance and the things. My passions are now coming to fruition. Things are just really kind of aligning for me. And some of you guys, you have that to come after relief. You gotta give something. To get something whether it's internally or within your external space that's not assisting you as far as growth and um assisting your evolving your evolving process baby you know that lunar eclipse was a mother mother but the fact that it was in capricorn there was a focus around first and foremost the rectification a turning of events okay turning things around or um I guess I can say refoundationalizing things. I know it's not a word. It is today. I made it. Shit. Let's rock. All right. So the angel message that you guys got. It's gonna be. It's actually a crystal message. It's the Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels Oracle Deck. It looks like this. Cause I get a lot of messages or a lot of questions around my angels I and mean my oracle cards. Okay. I'm gonna be using the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And then I'm also going to be using, this deck is so damn dope, y'all. It's dope. But I had to, you know, for water babies, I got to use <laughs> water tech. So we get down to the nitty gritty. So I'm also using the Mermaid Tarot by um, Lisa Robinson. Okay. I love those cards, too. All right. So the message that you guys got was citrine. Lucky for you, I got a citrine right here. Good for abundance, you guys, but also focus helps with creativity, okay, as well as grounding. Um, it also has to do with uh, your receptivity around the uh, around the uh, for some for some of y'all your heart chakra, but it has to do with your creative juice. Also, um, I know it's good for abundance. I use it to manifest money, okay. So let's get it. Citrine, unnecessary worries. The spirits say yes, there could be worries around money for you guys. Or investing your money, feeling as if there's a loss, or there's going to be a loss elsewhere. Okay, let me get it. Unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Okay. Citrine. Have you ever? I'm sorry. Have you been worrying, dear one? This card comes to you as a sign of needless worry, which God and your guardian angels are helping you release. Chronic worry can be draining and, and debilitating to physical, mental, and emotional health. Create and attract self-fulfilling prophecies, distract you from your priorities, cause you to second-guess your qualifications to fulfill your life purpose. That's why God and your guardian angels are lifting these burdens from your mind, heart, and body. They must, I'm sorry, they first remind you that all worry and, okay, centered in thoughts. Wait, hold on. They first remind you that all worry is centered in thoughts about the future, with your attention focused on what's ahead. It's difficult to focus on the present moment. You're guided to notice this present moment, such as how your body feels right now. For example, notice how you feel, wiggle your toes, then notice your muscles and breathe to release tension. Notice your heartbeat and breath rate, and hold the intention for them to relax. Notice your thoughts, and notice your feelings. By focusing upon what is going on in the present, your mind shifts away from future worries. It's also helpful to refrain, refrain from statements expressing your worries using the words of God, please help me with this. So for, so for instance, instead of I'm worried about my health, say God, please help me with my health. Worry never helps anything, but prayer always helps everything. Okay? So I definitely felt the energy of worry around you guys. All right. But for some of you all, I feel as if that worry is different. Some of you guys, it's it's worry that is can affect your future if you allow it to. But it's stemming from your past and it's still past wounds that mm, the residual energy could have been swooped up under a damn rug of water, babies. Let's just talk about it. OK. Some of you all, some of you all, there's a confirmation of a rainbow. Others of you, it has to do with the, um, with the white dove. Some of you all also may be finding out that you're finding empaths during this time. There may be pressures or some type of tingling around the um, around the crown chakra during this time. Some of you guys are receiving um, 
like esoteric messages. For some of y'all, it's like geometrical, like shapes and symbols. And it has to do with aligning with like past and future timelines. It has to do with this damn Plutonic energy as well as Neptune being in retrograde for the most part. But it's also about you receiving spiritual gifts from Saturn, okay? So for some of you all, there's a need to open up and live in the now and really, really, really not really focus on tomorrow. That's not your place. Hell, we blessed that we get the hell up. That's not your job. You can't control that. So there's a sense of like surrendering, okay? So there may be some of you guys may be experiencing some type of crown chakra activations. And there's also a sense some of y'all may also be going through some type of releasing of the heaviness or the releasing of... And some of you guys could actually be having some type of heart chakra expansion as well. It has to do with like the releasing of childhood wounds that is preventing you in the now from being receptive, not from a place of fear or from a place of expectation or for that matter, not from a space of doubt. A lot of you all may um, also be, hold on one second, I'm recording baby. That's okay. A lot of you all close the door all the way, boo. My son. He's something else. He's ready to go. Uh, save me, y'all. He's like, Mama, here the hell up. Uh, Tiki Taki, okay? Gemini. I ain't got no patience. Some of y'all may also be experiencing some type of uh, interruptions <laughs> from a damn Gemini. <clears throat> some of you all also are could be connecting with um, loved ones that passed over. Some of you all have mediumship abilities, and your loved ones are within. You could, if, you, if you're feeling that energy, they could be sending you synchronicities like around with like the smell during this time, familiar sense. Some of you all are clairaudient, clairvoyant, and clairsentient. I'm hearing as well. But there's a need for you all to open up to receive instead of looking at what there needs to be, like looking at what's preventing or what has happened to prevent. Like there's a feeling of feeling um, as if you were conquered. That's an interesting word, spirit, conquered. I don't know why I just saw it. centaur. I just saw, some of y'all could also be going through something with Sagittarius. Okay, I just saw the Sagittarius, the centaur, Sagittarius symbol. All right, so let's get it. All right, so spirit, let's see what's going on with my concerts. Let me write the news as well as the cross. Watch. And if you hear any noise, y'all, they're working on... Um, house they got fresh washing and all kind of stuff going on over here um i so i'm trying to talk as loud as i can and um y'all bear with me overly expressing my throat chakra and i'm not cussing too much anyway oh some of y'all may also be having issues with your children during this time especially if you have children i'm hearing between 12 and 19 it has to do with um Damn, some of y'all children are very gifted. Some of y'all have star seeds, especially if you've dealt with some type of abandonment where maybe the father or the mother could have left during this particular retrograde. It has to do with the soul contract. If you're going through rectifying family situations like someone just pops up out of no damn where, um, be receptive. There's a need for you to see things from a different perception from a different perspective. You need to review the um the similarity around the foundations of how you and this person was raised, because I'm hearing um, breaking cycles, ancestral cycles. So you and this person came here to break a cycle here and transmute a negative um, ancestral cycle into one that's positive because you have a very gifted child who has gifts from you and the other parents. <clears throat> or if this is having to do with your spouse, this is what's taking place. It's like a rectification or a repairing of timelines. Three, what messages do you have for my beautiful cancers and love from now to the end of July? What messages do you have for my cancers? Yes. Some of you all could possibly be experiencing some type of disagreement, possibly with a, a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like it has to do, and again, it also has to do with bad news and communication, okay? This could have to do with a Virgo. Um, you could have a child that is a Virgo or a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like some of you all, yeah, some of you guys are having issues um, when it comes to communication in your relationship during this time. You could be connected to a Pisces, okay? And for some of you all, this could also have to do with you feeling stuck in a situation and not really knowing how to communicate that, okay? This could have to do um, 
with the partnership. This could also have to do with how you make money. Some of you guys may feel stuck or trapped into a contract, or maybe you feel as if you didn't read over everything that you signed. But definitely during this time, be careful with signing contracts, you guys. Make sure that you read all of the fine print, all right? Some of you all, you may have, your children may be expressing. So this could also be your partner or you wanting to express um, with your partner. Some of you all are... Some of you all are trying to balance a relationship or a partnership as well as maintain your finances. And I definitely feel like this could be causing arguments during this time. Like someone feels as if they're coming second to someone's new job or some type of new opportunity. Um, I definitely feel like there there needs to be some type of light shed on a situation or during this time. Light could be shed on a situation where someone could have been juggling in a situation. This could have to do, someone could also be feeling as if, they're going to cut off someone else and really just focus on themselves and focus on healing themselves due to the fact that they could be dealing with someone who is married. This person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, strong emphasis on Capricorn uh, or Pisces or Virgo. I definitely feel like someone could also be um, coming in to communicate that they moved away from someone, especially if this person was connected to an air sign. Some of you guys could also be moving away from um, a Gemini Libra Aquarius during this time. And some of you all, this has to do with you speaking up for yourself about you moving forward and your future actions, okay? Some of you all, there's a need for you guys to be more confident when it comes to your expression, okay? I definitely feel like some of you all, um, hmm. Some of you all could also be juggling a Capricorn towards Virgo and a um, Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like with one of these people, one of these unions offer you a sense of stability or you may have children with this person. So you may feel obligated to the relationship, but someone could be expressing that they, they're going to be moving forward away from you. This person could be a Leo. OK, this person could also be um, some of y'all. This person is coming in toward the end of July going into August. And I feel like some of y'all are not going to see it coming because you focused on your abundance. OK, this could also be someone in the past that you could have moved away from because you wanted a stable offer from this person. OK, some of you all have an earth sign child and you're, ex you're experiencing issues with this child's behavior. If this child. If you've had issues with the co-parenting of this child's father or some type of father figure, I definitely feel like this person could just be coming in out of nowhere. Some of y'all going to find out that your children have been communicating with their father, kind of telling them your business because they don't really like your new relationship. So there could be falling outs around children feeling as if um, you're choosing your job or your finances or money or some type of new uh, relationship that you're trying to uh, build this stability in over them you know, or over their father or some of y'all could find out that your, your ex could be emotionally manipulating your children um into trying to get you to come back or not leave a situation that is unhealthy maybe this person could also be trying to hold money over your head or you know threatening your children behind closed doors but making you seem as if you're the bad person okay some of you all yeah, some of you all have something solid, uh, something that you can actually build on with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Or some of you all could also be receiving help from someone who wants to offer you a cup of love. I feel like this person could kind of see you struggling financially, trying to hold things together, okay? And I feel like this person could um, also have experienced either freshly leaving the situation or you. this person could be aware of you uh, removing yourself from a situation where you thought that you wasn't going to have help, cancel this help on the way, and this person, but some of y'all love and finances are tied together, and it looks very positive, okay? Some of you guys, someone is trying to make a decision if they're going to choose um, either this queen of pentacles, this could be someone who they definitely have a child with or some type of tie to, this could be a business with this person, this could also be someone's ex or someone's child's mother. Like someone is trying to balance a relationship um, or like set boundaries in a relationship where there could be money ties. And I feel like this other person wants love, but this person just kind of wants balance in the situation for the sake of children. OK, I definitely feel like someone could ha definitely have to choose between you and the earth sign from their past during this time. And someone is having to make a heart overhead decision. Yeah, definitely have to do the reconciliation. For some of y'all, this could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be wanting to reconcile with the fire sign, but it seems like there's like outside interference, okay? And for some of you all, you may feel as if um, either you or this other person, like you want to express your love and reconcile with this person. Some of you all may feel like this person is like beginning to get out of your reach, you know, or as if things are going on around you 
that, you know, you're trying to hold on to this one thing, but it's like other things that are going on around you. So I definitely feel like things moving forward, things will be moving forward and progressing. You will be communicating with this person, but I still feel a sense of you guys needing to not really worry about the things around you, but really tie loose ends because I definitely feel like there will be a reconciliation. For some of you all, this won't actually happen until the month of August. This could also be um, like a divine counterpart. Um, a twin flame, or this could also have to do with the mother or father of your children, okay? But some of y'all, hmm, yeah, some of y'all, you could have a family with this person, and someone from your past has a family with this person, and your person could actually be stuck on what type of, you know, pretty much which way they want to go. I definitely feel like someone in the situation could have moved on from another person, and then this other person just comes in out of nowhere as soon as they surrender it and say that they want to balance things out. And so it's leaving either you or your person kind of conflicted on which way to go because I have a family with both people. This could definitely be someone who has some type of abandonment issue or father issue that they're dealing with. This could also be someone who um, may feel as if, and, and I feel like some of you all want to reconcile with someone, but Maybe you or this other person, like before you express your love, you want to kind of build something up or someone wants to, someone wants to have things balanced before they make a secure offer, okay? Some of you guys was waiting on some type of check or some type of like financial assistance. If you have applied for some type of financial assistance of any sort, this could have to do with housing, this could have to do with um, student loans or uh, loans of some sort or government loans. I definitely see you guys see here and po see you guys hearing positive news from that. A lot of you guys feel trapped in a situation or someone could be feeling trapped in a situation uh, due to the fact that this person has this lack mindset. Some of y'all, somebody looks at you as being the person that just can, just continues to give, okay? And some of you guys are feeling abandoned by this person emotionally and you have the opportunity to, to connect with someone from your past where there could have been issues moving forward before. But now this person has actually went and got their shit together and they're wanting to reconcile. They see you as they influence cancer, okay? Some of you guys, this is quite some shit. Some of you guys could have been connecting with, um, some of you guys could have had a baby. I see twin girls. Someone could have been connecting with the Capricorn towards Virgo who has two daughters. And you can find out that you're pregnant by this person. There is a lot of love with this person. But this person is afraid to disconnect from someone who they're tied to, who they already have children with. But things in their home life is kind of getting out of their control, especially if they're tied to an air sign, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person could be communicating that from you. Some of y'all could be finding out that this person didn't have the courage to leave the situation, so that damn air sign burnt out on their ass during this time. This person is definitely undergoing a transformation. You all are also undergoing a transformation when it comes to you being the driver of your own reality. You being the co-creator of your own reality, baby. Meaning that if you think black, then so be black. Some of you guys, what's preventing your money flow is this damn lack-ass lack, lack -ass mindset that you have, okay? And some of you guys are turning down a damn reconciliation with someone who you have a family with. Some of y'all may feel like this person is coming back because they're experiencing a negative situation around finances. And for some of y'all, that's the case. But for some of you all, some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant, possibly by a Pisces. Someone could also, um, someone could have, someone could also be finding out some truth about a Leo that they could have walked away from. There's a door that's going to have to be opened up after something is revealed. This could have to do with the Pisces and the Leo. I'm recording. I just love coming in here. Some damn Gemini. Some of y'all have, um, some of y'all just have to do with the damn Gemini. Others of you could be possibly uh, walking away from a fire sign. Aerieville Sagittarius. Like you're finally finding the strength to move away from this person. I feel like you're gonna communicate with this person that you're not gonna be juggled anymore. You're not gonna feel. You're not gonna be stuck or trapped in this situation. For some of you all, this may happen involuntarily. Like this other person chooses maybe someone who they have a child with. For some of y'all, this person could also be going through some type of transformation or communicating possibly with a fire sign, another fire sign from your past. 
who could have made them feel abandoned or some of y'all. It doesn't mean for you guys not to overindulge during this time, Cancer. Stop all that damn drinking. You can't turn to drinking and substance to heal you emotionally. Once you fucking sober up, the feeling is still there. There's a need for you to deal with it, baby. You have to release that. Some of you guys are feeling, um, yeah, you know, some of you guys are feeling defeated possibly by someone that's a Capricorn. Or some of y'all have a Capricorn that's really missing you. They really feel trapped and stuck in a situation due to the fact that they don't want to. It's, it's like they're having to choose their happiness and optimism of what could be and what could be built because I definitely see solidity here, you know, and a healthy foundation. But I feel like this person is kind of stuck in their ways. They could have um, either some type of fixed energy in a chart, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Some of you guys could also be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you all, there's a Scorpio on the way to communicate with you. Some of y'all could have told someone that, some of y'all could have told somebody who walked away from you, I'm hearing, I'm hearing because you didn't do right by me, everything that you touch is going to fall in, it's going to fall to the ground. And some of y'all, this was right, especially if this had to do with someone um, cutting off a marriage. Some of you all could be very intuitive. Maybe you foreseen the situation going to fall to its face. Or maybe you foreseen someone getting ready to reconnect with someone who they have children with. This could be someone who you wanted to have abundance with. This could also be um, a battle for you because you feel as if you overinvested in the situation. Some of y'all, there could be magic involved. Yeah. Some of you all are not going to, some of y'all are going to be the cause of someone's tower moment. Some of y'all just could have to do with the Scorpio. Or for some of you all, some of you all who connected with a Scorpio or an Earth sign, I definitely feel like someone could be, den somebody could be denying a child as well. Let me see. Hmm. Someone could also be uh, letting go of someone after the paternity of a child is released. And I feel like, yeah. Some of you all intuitively, um, some of you all feel intuitively that a fire sign is getting ready to, if you can have to release this fire sign or this fire sign is getting ready to release you. Some of you all are feeling overburdened by a fire sign. You feel as if this person um, is not able to deal with you the way that you expected. Like some of you all are coming out of this space of illusion and kind of seeing a situation for what it's worth. Some of you are this person who doesn't know how to open up and express love because they have some type of unhealthy view around, first off, an unhealthy attachment to a mother figure. And second, it has to do with you mirroring an aspect or this person mirroring an aspect of a mother or father figure where there was some sense of abandonment there. Which is preventing a new beginning because this is something that could be beautiful, but someone is just really overthinking it. And it's becoming burdensome because you feel as if you've already went through the works of, you know, healing yourself and working through your issues internally. And some of y'all, this is forcing you, and forcing you to go back and heal childhood wounds. Because that and your perception around what it was that you saw or your perception around how you know to love or how you know to receive love, there is some type of sub, uh, reprogramming of the subconscious that has to happen in this space of solitude in order for you to see things from a different perspective and not feel as if something is being taken from you, but yet feel only see what you was meant to learn from that person. Kind of like the reasons and seasons theory. Some of you all could also be releasing the damn Gemini. Okay? Or some of you all, if there was magic involved with a situation from preventing you and possibly um, maybe an Aries, a Scorpio, a Gemini from being together, I definitely feel like someone is getting ready to release a situation in order to have this new beginning. And others of you, you're definitely needing to make a judgment call because you can ready to go into a whole other cycle, baby. After some things are revealed to you, possibly regarding a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Spirit, what's your advice for cancer overall in love? Whoa, that fell off the damn thing. Okay. Yeah. Expansion moving forward, okay? Some of you all may be, um, 
some of you all may be in the space of like stalking or maybe you can have a fire sign stalking you to see if you're moving forward okay some of you all could also be watching a younger fire sign to see if maybe a twin flame or they have connected with someone from their past and who they have kids with this could be an Aries okay this could also be a Gemini doing this to you some of you all definitely be careful who you have a sex with because some of y'all you have someone that's trying to do some damn sex magic or could have in the past and there has been some type of breaking of yeah, so there's some, this person can't access you in that way anymore. And this person is trying to come with this little bitty ass offer. I feel like the intention is something massive, but they kind of trying to put their toe in the water, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be uh, moving forward or some of y'all could also be reflecting over a situation that could have occurred, a, repeti a repetitive cycle. And some of you all are... There's a need for you guys, like you have this dream of things going a particular way, possibly with a Gemini or possibly with a um, with a soulmate or for some of y'all because I have the two of cups here with the six of cups and the lovers, I, this could also be a twin. But for some of you all, someone could be releasing themselves from a situation to fix themselves and there's a need for you to see how through this person, there needs to be like an, a mirroring effect. Some of y'all are mirroring another person. Yeah, and for some of you all, through spine, you're going to find out, okay, that someone could have possibly left a marriage, or someone was manipulated and staying in a situation due to children. I definitely feel like there's going to be heartbreak around a situation where someone could have manipulated someone in the past um, through some type of clarification through the court system, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Libra, but I definitely feel there will be a moving forward after some type of clarity, okay? Some of y'all could also be dealing with another cancer, all right? Um, you will come out of this space of disillusionment. You will come out of this space of feeling as if um, you were after some type of deception. Some of y'all could also find out somebody stole from you, okay? I am seeing um, this has to do with a past life, a past life soul contract for some of you all. And some of you all, there's a new beginning with possibly a water sign or earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, where I see something really beautiful from your past, okay? You guys, this is what I have for you all for the month uh, for mid month July. I pray that this resonates with a lot of you all. This message got a little juicy, honey. I love you all so very much. I send you all love, light, peace, and blessings. And namaste. Mm. Bye, my babies. Oh, and if you need a person, y'all get information. Don't forget to check the community tab. And that information is in the description. Bye, y'all.